Dublin Metro Tunnel Construction Sequence This short video gives and explains the sequence to construct a metro tunnel. Prior to tunneling a launch pit or underground station is constructed in which the tunnel boring machine can be assembled. A reception pit or station has to be constructed to a stage where the tunnel boring machine can pass through it, or be recovered, when the tunnel boring machine arrives. The tunnel boring machine also known as a TBM, excavates the ground by the rotating head and then places precast wall segments to form rings that in turn form the tunnel walls. Precast wall segments are transported on mine wagons through the completed tunnel to the back of the TBM. The excavated material is transported on conveyor belts to a station and lifted to ground level by skip and crane from where it is transported off-site by tipper lorries. The tunnel fit-out comprises constructing the tunnel floor, drainage, installation of track, wall brackets, tunnel ventilation, high-voltage power, signaling, communications and overhead line equipment. Commissioning involves running trains to ensure the operational systems are functioning correctly. Following are some video clips from various projects. With its rotating cutting wheel, the tunneling machine breaks the material from the tunnel face. The material is then transferred to the belt conveyor system in the rear of the shield via a screw conveyor, while the hydraulic cylinders press the machine forward continuously. The reinforced concrete segments, known as lining segments, are installed under the protection of the shield skin. When the ring building has been completed, the machine can push itself against the new tunnel ring and drill further into the soil. Please like, share and subscribe.